Hello, this is Dr. Will Tallheimer of Work Learning Research, and I've been asked time and time again to come up with a simple conceptual model to maximize training effectiveness. Now, the issue with this, of course, is that if we're really going to do a good job of training, it's an iterative process. But nonetheless, most people like models that go chronologically, so I have created a simple conceptual model that takes into account a lot of what we need to know, but certainly not all we need to know about how to maximize training. So let me show it to you. So I'm going to start with a list of the seven training maximizers. Now, I'm not sure maximizers is a word, but nonetheless, there's seven things here. And we'll start out, we have to create valid, credible content. I used to do leadership training, and some of that content was complete BS. And, uh, you know, it's easy for creating systems training. We know what the content needs to be. It's fairly straightforward. But some of the softer skill stuff, we got to make sure we got the right stuff. B, engaging learning events. The learning events have to make sure that the learners are engaged, that they're paying attention to the right information, that they're motivated to learn. We also need to support basic understanding. The course ought to help the learners build the basic mental models of what they need to learn. Now, A, B, and C are things we do fairly well in the industry right now, but we miss out on a lot of the other steps, starting with D, supporting decision-making competence. A lot of times we just teach people an awareness, but that's not enough. They really need to know what to do when faced with particular situations. And that's where we can really deepen the learning, take it further. But we also need to support, in our training, long-term remembering. If people can't remember something that we teach after a day or two, we're not going to have much of an effect. F, supporting on-the-job application of learning. We know that training is not enough. People have to then take it back. We need to have supports to enable them to do that. And finally, to support perseverance in learning so that even after people begin to apply it, they continue to persevere, to deepen their learning, and to improve their performance over time. So those seven things, A to G, are the seven training maximizers. Now, of course, we can deepen our understanding of these, right? And we can explore this in more depth by looking at both the inputs, what we need to do to create these things, and the outputs, what are the results we should expect from these. So let's look at the outputs first. When we're talking about creating valid, credible content, the outputs are, is the content correct? Is it job relevant? Is it up to date? fairly straightforward. When we talk about engaging learning events, we're really asking ourselves, are the learners going to pay attention? Are they motivated to learn? Support for basic understanding. Can the learners show that they understand the basic concepts through tests, answering questions, discussions, etc.? For supporting decision-making competence, can the learners make realistic decisions within scenarios, simulations, or real-world tasks? For supporting long-term remembering, we've got, can the learner show understanding and or make realistic decisions after a delay? Support, support for on-the-job application of learning. Do the learners use the learning successfully in their jobs? And finally, do the learners continue to deepen their learning and improve their performance? That's what we would expect if we're doing all these things well. On the input side, we've got for credible content, we want to have a good job analysis, ideally with a situationally based focus. To have engaging learning events, that learning material ought to be relevant, personal, interactive, and credible. And the learners probably need to be encouraged by respected others in the organization. To support basic understanding, we need to make sure we connect with our learners' prior knowledge, utilize good metaphors, repetitions, good sequencing, trial and feedback, etc. And by the way, there's no way that we can 
in this little simple model show everything we need to do. These are just some of the main things. To support decision-making competence, we need to use situation-based decision-making practice using realistic context, realistic job context. To support long-term remembering, utilize contextually relevant content, realistic retrieval practice, and spaced repetitions, the three biggies to create long-term remembering. Aligning the context, retrieval practice, and spaced repetitions. To support on-the-job application of learning, we need to use prompting mechanisms like job aids, reminding mechanisms to make sure people are continuing to remember, and probably need to have some encouragement and support from respected others. And finally, to support perseverance in learning, folks need time and resources to do it, encouragement, materials, social media, learning reinforcement, and many other things as well. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, this is work learning research material, but you are welcome to use it as is, as long as you cite our work. We're really uh, glad to be able to share it when we can. So let me know what you think of this. Uh, again, it's research-based. It's simplified. In some sense, that makes it more usable. Uh, of course, it doesn't include everything we need to know. For example, one thing that I don't even get into, he into here is training evaluation. Of course, if you're going to create maximum training effectiveness over time, you need to evaluate so you can improve what you're doing. So it doesn't include everything, but some of the major points in these seven training maximizers. So this has been Will Tallheimer, and I want to thank you for listening. I uh, hope this has been helpful, and uh, don't forget, you can check me out at willsbook.net, and I am available for consulting, e-learning, benchmarking, learning design, keynotes, workshops, research, etc. Hope to see you on the net, and feel free to get in touch. Thanks so much.